The beautiful city of Reims is home of the awesome Gothic Cathedral, but more important place for us, it is the capital of the Champagne region. I am here to taste one of my favorite champagnes made by Thierry Gasco, the talented winemaker and cellar master of the Champagne House of Pommery. So, the, you have not only a cellar here, you have a hard gallery inside. So, bottles and a piece of art. This is a, such a good mix. Yes. The long tunnels were built in the late 1870s by Madame Louise Pommery to connect a large system of old Gallo-Roman chalk quarries called Crayer. 30 million bottles are aging for several years in the darkness of this amazing place. The Samanazar, it's uh, the biggest uh, bottle that we have into the Pommery cellar. Uh, it's uh, 12 bottles. 12 bottles? 12 bottles. It is a very rewarding visit that finishes with a glass of my favorite wine, a blend of Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, and Bubbles. Oh, beautiful bouquet. Thank you. Mm. It is really a great champagne. This chicken dish with a champagne and mushroom sauce makes a delicate dinner party main course. First, I lightly brown some chicken pieces in a white pan before adding some chopped shallots. After a few minutes, I add two tablespoons of cognac, then almost half a bottle of champagne to the dish. I cover the simmering dish with foil and a lid and cook for 20 minutes. While the chicken is cooking, I always check on the quality of the champagne. Yeah, yeah, that would be nice. Mm. I transfer the chicken with some cooked mushrooms and boil the cooking juices down. Then I add a little cream and reheat the chicken in the simmering sauce. I spoon the mushrooms onto plates, top with chicken and the sauce and sprinkle with chives. Asparagus is a delicate garnish for this poulet au champagne et champignons. The restaurant dining room of the Chateau Hotel Les Crayères in Reims overlooks a superb garden and is one of the most romantic places to dine in France. Chef de cuisine Philippe Mills cooking is a great example of the evolution of French cuisine. It's a cuisine bourgeoise, classic, but contemporaine. A cuisine de produits, de generosity and of pleasure. Philippe's signature dish of local white asparagus and regional mushrooms confirms his philosophy. It is a beautiful experience to watch his chefs at work and the desserts look like delicious pieces of art. We have a pâtissier d'exception who is champion of France de dessert. And justement, ce dessert, on appelle ça les vagues croustillantes. En fait, c'est une forme de vague, donc très léger, avec une mousse, caramel, citron, avec un petit sorbet pomme, très très léger, très frais pour la fin du repas. Tomorrow, we discover the stunning city of Nancy and its gourmet specialties, including the local macarons. <laughs>